How do you become a software engineer in 2022? I get this question a lot from people who watch my military videos and ask me, how did you go from being an infantryman to a software engineer? Well, I never really transitioned. I've been programming computers since 1982, when my dad brought home a TRS-80 computer from Radio Shack, and I sat down in front of the thing at eight years old and learned how to program in Logo. But a lot has changed since 1982, and a lot has changed since 2005 when I first got my computer science degree. So how would you become a programmer in 2022? Well, to start, let's go over what a software engineer is and what they actually do. A software engineer designs applications and systems for computers. But really, a software engineer uses computers to solve problems problems and add value to a business. Think about it like this. Do you buy a drill because you need a drill or do you buy a drill because you need a hole? The fact is, as a software engineer, the business didn't hire you to write software. The business hired you to create solutions that will help their business run more efficiently. As a software engineer, you are the drill and the company needs holes. You'll very rarely ever write software for its own sake. Most business software is designed to solve specific problems. So really, the definition of a software engineer is someone who solves real-world problems with computers. Now, there's basically two ways of becoming a software engineer in 2022, self-taught and college. Now, software engineering is one of those unique professions where you don't actually have to go to college in order to get a good-paying, entry-level job. Okay, think about this. Let's say you're a bartender and for 15 years you've tended bar and you really want to get a new job because you want more stable hours. So you decide to go to a programming boot camp. How valuable would you be to a software company that makes point of sale systems for bars and restaurants? You have real world experience that can be applied directly to the business knowledge of how a program will actually work. Man, companies would kill for someone like that. Take a look at the companies in your area and look for what skills they're actually looking for. Then pick a boot camp that teaches those particular skills. If you live in San Francisco, Java and React might be more popular. If you live in Minnesota, .NET might be more popular. But definitely pick the set of languages and tools or stack that is most popular in your area, which will increase your chances of getting a job. Now, you can also try online learning. This may be a good option for people who want to continue to work while they go to school. Now, if you go down that path, you want an organization that can teach you classes as well as provide you with certifications. Now, Cloud Academy is actually pretty good with this, mainly because they teach and they have certifications. So funny story. I have a bachelor's degree in computer science, I have a master's degree in engineering management, and I have an MSc in cybersecurity. Now this is the Cloud Academy website. I wanna show you something. When I have applied for jobs uh, at cybersecurity companies, they don't care that I have a master's in cybersecurity. All they care about is this thing down here, this uh, CISSP certification. This thing is like the golden ticket into cybersecurity. So when you're looking for an online learning tool, pick one that has an option to give you certifications. That way that certification can get you past those AI job resume screeners. Now Cloud Academy has a number of certifications, but I wanna show you this one up here. This is AWS, AWS certifications or Amazon Web Services. You get an Amazon Web Services certification, you are gonna be set up for the next 20 years. Netflix uses AWS, Disney uses AWS, General Electric, uh, Siemens, so many companies use AWS. This technology is going to be around for a long, long time. Get acquainted with it. One more important thing about online learning, and that is you're not taking on hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to learn something, unlike the next thing I'm going to talk about, college. Now, college is a little bit different. When picking a college, I wouldn't necessarily worry about a name brand school. Now, don't fall into the trap of wondering if Rutgers has a better computer science program than Florida State. If you're not an Ivy League school, it really doesn't matter. Just pick a school and graduate from it. That's the most important thing. Now, college is going to teach you programming, but one of the problems with college is that it's not always on the leading edge of programming. So when you graduate from college, you may not have all the necessary skills you need in order to work for a company. Also keep in mind that college will teach you theory behind programming, but one of the things you lose is time. 
in college, you're doing the work the professor wants you to do. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten resumes from recent graduates and I'm looking at these resumes and these guys know how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius in four different languages. And that's, that's great, but what I really need you to do is take data and put it into a database through a form. So the best advice I can give you is you're gonna have to do extra work. Do a couple of side projects, put them on your resume, put them on your GitHub. As a hiring manager, I wanna see what you can do. It's important to analyze your own strengths and weaknesses, figure out what you like and what you don't like. It's also extremely important to get an internship. This helps you narrow down the kind of jobs, industries, and languages that you like. The last thing that you want is to end up in a job or industry that you hate. So get as many internships as you can because you're not gonna know what you like until you've tried it a few times. Internships also help me as the hiring manager figure out whether you'll be able to get along with the team. The days of the lone Bertram Guilfoyle programmer are over. Nobody wants to work with jerks, no matter how smart they are. And internships help prove to me that you could get along with your coworkers. Now, I actually want to talk about your dream job. It's actually not impossible to get your dream job straight out of college or boot camp. But the odds of you getting that dream job improve significantly if you enter the labor force with a lot of side projects, a lot of certifications, and a lot of internships. The more interesting things you have on your resume, the greater the chance that you'll get that dream job. You need to work for it. And then once you get it, the work doesn't stop. Once you get that job, you have to keep learning. The best way of doing this is to become what's called a T-shaped engineer. A T-shaped engineer has a wide knowledge of a lot of things and deep knowledge in a couple of core components. So where does that bring us back to? Cloud Academy, continuous learning. Cloud Academy is a tool for techies, by techies, that's gonna help you with this continuous learning as you progress in your career. And actually, right now, they're doing a seven-day free trial. So if you're interested in that, click on the link or in the description or the pinned comments below. And that's how you become a programmer in 2022. Good luck on your next interview.